Okay, guys, here we are with the bottom part of the cabinets painted and finished. Never mind my kitchen. It's a disaster right now. I haven't put any knobs on. So, I learned a lot of things doing this. I made a lot of mistakes doing this because actually with these type of cabinets, uh, I was told that you really have to sand these down. So I did scrape some of the um, lacquer off, or whatever that is that they put on there to protect them. After I washed them, alcoholed them, and then I kind of scraped them. I didn't show you that part in the video. And then I primed it and then painted it. I'll show you what type of primer this primer was recommended by Sharon Williams. It's called Extreme Bond Primer. And it goes on really thin and it works very well. And we're going to put molding around the island. Because you can see the imperfection there. Don't pay any attention to the junk in the back of the wall. What I'm showing you is the border. Here's the border that I'm going to put around the island. And we're going to use this piece here, this gold piece that you see, to address the issues on the cabinet. And I do want to paint these before they go on. It just makes it easier than getting down on the floor. And then I could just do touch-ups after my husband finish putting those on. This is the upper part of my cabinet and somehow it started to bubble up. So we have to address that issue and you'll see in the end of the video You'll see in the end of the video on how we address that problem. This is the new hardware that I'm going to put on my cabinets. I went for the square knob. And then I'm going to have a few of these pulls. And uh, these are, this is a uh, brand is Hickory. I think these pools are $6.99 each and the these little handle well the handle the pulls I think these are like almost nine dollars each Going to be painting the food pantry door today. And it's pretty beat up. I've already wiped it down. Uh, what you see in there is just. What you see there is damage to the door. It's going from a tan. And I'm using a high gloss paint. I'm going to be installing the closet mate. Install this on the pantry door. Because we definitely need extra space, uh, extra storage space. Let's see if you can see how they got this attached to the door. So I'll have my husband install this to my door. And there's plenty of space to close it. Okay, so where do you keep your messy chip bags? 
once they're opened up and eaten out of those uh, I think I'm gonna use this shelf over here for snacks I got the kids stuff down here with these noodles popcorn and little bags grown people stuff and sweets and I know don't judge me I know we have a lot of snacks in this house it's getting those chips and all these bags out of my pantry frees up a lot of space and of course you don't have to do bags of chips on this you can pretty much put whatever you want on there it'll hold canned goods it's very solid my husband screwed it to the door so it's super solid This is the decorative piece that we added. Uh, be sure to tune back in to part three for the final reveal so you can see how it all worked out. Um, I think had we cut that board out here and extended it all the way through to the wall, it would have been perfect. But it still looks great. <laughs> 